Hey everyone, how are you doing today? In today's video, I'll talk about the best proxies for Facebook ads. Let's start. But first, why do we need proxies for Facebook ads? Can't we just use our own IP address? Well, technically you could, but you might have had your account disabled in the past. If you manage several ad accounts with the same IP address, you're risking your current accounts getting banned. To avoid this problem and to keep Facebook from tracking us, we use proxies to hide our real IP addresses and use these proxies as our IPs. So, I hope you understand why proxies proxies are important. Before you go and buy a proxy for Facebook ads, let me explain the different types of proxies you should know about and which ones might be best for you. There are generally four types of proxies. Residential proxies. These proxies come from real devices and are shared with you for your use. They are considered among the best proxies available, but they cost more. If you have a good budget, you should choose residential proxies. Mobile proxies. These proxies are great for marketing and are difficult for platforms like Facebook to detect. However, they are more expensive than other types of proxies. If you want high-quality proxies and have a higher budget, mobile proxies are a good choice. They use real mobile IPs, so it's like using someone else's phone's IP from far away. Private proxies. These proxies are shared among a small group of people and aren't exclusive to you. They're not as high-quality as residential and mobile proxies, but are cheaper. If you have a lower budget, private proxies might be suitable for you. Data center proxies. These are the cheapest proxies available, but they're easily detected by platforms like Facebook. I wouldn't recommend using data center proxies for Facebook ads. Keep in mind that while they're inexpensive, they're also easily identified by Facebook. If you're wondering which type of proxies to use for Facebook ads, it depends on your budget. If you have a good budget, go for residential and mobile proxies. But if your budget is low, you can go for private proxies. However, I suggest avoiding data center proxies for Facebook ads because they're not good quality. Now, where can you buy these proxies? Don't worry, I'll tell you some of the best places. Ecomparkour.com. This is our own website where you can find different proxies specially optimized for Facebook ad success. MyPrivateProxy.net. If you need private proxies, check out MyPrivateProxy. They offer some of the best affordable plans. BrightData.com. BrightData also provides top quality proxies in the market. Finally, let me show you how to use these proxies with an anti-detect browser that hides itself from Facebook's detection system for your ads. For this example, I'll use Ads Power, a tool that helps you avoid detection by Facebook. Next, I'll create a new profile. You can name your profile whatever you want, but for now, I'll keep it as default. I'll choose Flower Browser, which is like Firefox, but modified by Ads Power to be better at a avoiding detection. Then, I'll add the proxy information in the remarks. I'll go to the proxy settings and choose custom. In the proxy type, I'll select HTTPS and enter all the details like the host, port, username, and password, which we copied earlier. Once all of this is done, click on save, and congratulations, your proxy is now set up in your browser that hides itself. If you want to check if your proxy is working correctly, click on the three dots, then click on update proxy, and finally click on check proxy to see if it's connected properly. If you found this helpful, subscribe to our channel and join our Telegram and Discord. In our next video, we'll show you what are the best anti-detect browsers to avoid getting banned from Facebook. So, stay tuned!